Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel today. So we have a beautiful day on the water right here. Really, really nice, nice overcast day. It's pretty cool right now, which I'm loving because it's been so dang hot recently. So that being said, I got the trolling motor down behind me. I'm gonna see if I can troll around. We're gonna look for redfish, uh, trout, snook, black drum today. I got a topwater tied up here, Berkeley Jaywalker 100, and then a gulp shrimp tied up here. Gulp shrimp, one of my favorite lures of all time. It can pretty much catch anything and redfish go crazy for it. So we are going to be uh, looking for some redfish that are gonna be tailing, crawling, that sort of thing. Uh, well, fingers crossed they're gonna be doing that. So I might have to jump up on the polling platform to get up in there a little bit quieter, but I think for right now, I'm gonna sit on the trolling motor, cast the top water around, see if maybe I can pull big trout, maybe a big redfish, or just anything that wants to bite. So yeah. I think, um, I think that's it for today. I just wanted to answer one question before we get going on today's video. Um, I've been seeing a lot of questions about the uh, flats boat, the Tarpon Boat Works, Tarpon Bay 19. A lot of people asking where it's been, when am I gonna fish on it again? So I actually returned it back in February. It was like a, uh, it was demo boat with Tarpon Boat Works. So everything went well. We made some awesome videos on it. And then uh, in August, which will be next month or hopefully early September, I'll be getting a brand new one. Same boat. Um, just brand new a couple different uh, changes done to it. It'll be like my own personal. It'll be super custom It'll be a sick boat uh, But for right now, we're just grinding out the Ginu having a lot of fun on it and catching some fish So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay updated and uh, yeah Let's get throwing and see what we can find. Let's catch some fish All right, just climbed up on the polling platform here. Water looks absolutely amazing. I um, threw the top water around for a good 20 minutes. Got a few nice bull hooks from trout, but couldn't connect. So the sun's starting to come up now, and I'm just, I was itching to get up on the shoreline, start looking for redfish, maybe if we're lucky, a trout. And uh, we'll throw that gulp shrimp around right now. If the fish seem to be pretty aggressive, I'll pick back up that top water and keep throwing it. But wow, these bugs are bad today. I need the sun to poke out a little bit. Redfish. Oh, got him. Got him. There we go. Good morning, guys. Handful of them right there. Tailing. Oh, I don't know about tailing, but. He was all over that. They were, I could see him real easily. The sun was shining right up into him. <sighs> I'll tell you what, pulling and fishing, and there's a couple more right up in there, if you guys can see that wake. Pulling and fishing, not the easiest thing to do. It's definitely difficult. But it is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. See if maybe I can swing this guy up here without hopping off the pulling platform. Eh, he's pretty big. All right, let's hop down. This guy was all over it. All over it there. Oh. First fish of the day, redfish, about a maybe an 18 inch or so, crushed the uh, crushed the crushed the gulp shrimp right there. So that worked out. That worked out very well. I was seeing a handful of them. Just had to uh, put the right cast in front of them there. Pop that out. And we'll go for a quick release here. A lot of really nice grass. Check that out. Let him go. Go, buddy, go. All right. Well, like I was saying, definitely pulling and uh, fishing. A little bit difficult solo, but we're catching them. They're out here. So we'll keep throwing here. That's one for redfish down. I think we can catch a bunch of them today. Let's do it. 
I actually like the fact that it was overcast when I started pulling, but the bugs were literally murdering me. So now I'm just praying that the sun actually comes out because I think that's what'll slow them down. I literally couldn't think. The bugs were all over my legs there. I had to reach down to swipe them off every three seconds. Got a little red right in here. Let's see if I can trick them. Oh, got him! Got him! There we go. There's fish number two, sight fished from the uh, platform here. That fish was sitting high, 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 right up in here in the sun. I could see him from like a mile away. I had just missed a uh, fish that was crawling as well. Ooh. Under the boat. Under the boat. Nice. He took off on that, man. He took off on it. I think I can get this fish from up here. Let me see if I can kind of just swing him up here. Bright, bright blue tail, man. Bright blue tail. All right. Sight, fishes, sight fished and landed from up here. Check that blue tail out. Hopefully that coloring is just right in the video, but bright blue. All right, toss him back here. Gently just... <laughs> there he goes. Launch it away. Second fish of the day. That one was easy. Didn't have to uh, leave the... Oh, he bit the tail off. Somehow he got the tail for me. Gulp shrimp. It always works. Honestly, I think this would work just like this. Let me see. Honestly, I think that would work just like that. No tail. Let's keep throwing it. See if I can get a bite on it. Spotted a pretty big red fish up in here. Back out of the water. Tail out of the water. He's right under this closest mangrove patch to me. He's coming at me. Pick up and go again. Well, it happens to all of us. I cast it up into the tree and look at this red fish right here. I got stuck, but he's sitting right there. back out of the water and everything. Went ahead and made a cast to him and just went a foot too far and I got myself stuck in the trees. <laughs> there he goes. Let me see if maybe I can sneak up in here and get this bait out. That was a bad cast on me. Got me a red fish, I got me a red fish. Crawling right here shallow. That was a pretty big one. They're getting smart as the sun comes up. Well, sun is actually up, up right now, but they're getting smarter and smarter. Well, update's 10.30 now. Still throwing around a little gold shrimp, but I will say the fish have just been, uh, seem to be a little bit smarter. Got one or two follows, but that's about it. That was about it. We landed two fish. I'm just gonna keep on working here. I'm gonna try to get at least five fish today. That is my goal. That is my goal. Really perfect weather. Just got to get some bites. Come on. There it is. Oh, spinning me around. I can't even see. Oh my gosh. This fish is literally behind me. About time I got a bite. I had two redfish here coming right out of this kind of narrow creek. Oh my gosh, she's spinning me around. Coming right out of this narrow creek here, sitting here in inches of water. Saw the first one, he took off. Look up, see the second one. Oh, I kind of messed up my wrist there. Saw the second one tossed up in front of him and he just inhaled it. That's what I'm talking about. They've been pretty picky today and I think that's just because of how hot it is. They're not really up shallow like they were this morning. And then uh, ever since it uh, kind of heated up, they've just been real picky. 
Nice red, nice red, nice red. Oh. This guy absolutely clapped that shrimp. I just kind of flicked it over there one-handed and was working it. And I just felt dun dun dun. And that was him. Beautiful, beautiful red. Nice one. It's about time. It is what 1209 right now. I've got three fish. Probably seen, I don't know, maybe a little over 10. It's just been real picky today. Go ahead and get this hook out of this guy's mouth. Let him go on his way. Really good colors. There he goes. All right. All right. That thing messed up my wrist there. I kind of had the rod up back behind me and he took off and bent my wrist back. Got me pretty good. Oh, all right. I'll take that. That was pretty neat. It's just literally it never gets old. Sight fishing or redfish never gets old. I do think I like sight fishing redfish more than any other fish. I don't know why. I think it's just the color that they give off in the water. It just brings a lot of excitement. I like snook eats and fighting snook, but there's something about seeing a redfish and casting to them. They're just a little bit different than every other fish, I feel like. Let's spin ourselves around here. I'm going to go right through this little cut and look for some more. There's a fish. There it is. Got him in open water. That's a good one. That is a good one. That is a good fish. There we go. That's a nice red. Got him out of the opening of the creek there. Just blind casting, tossing that shrimp, or working that shrimp on the bottom. It's a good fish. I feel like my drag is super tight. Loosen up a little bit. I need to get this pole out of my hand here. It's so awkward. Oh. That's a big fish. That is a pretty big red fish. Oh. All right. That is a good, good fella right there. We got him. Redfish number four of the day. Right after we just got that last one, that number three, about, um, when did we catch him? About 20 minutes ago. So that's a good one. That is a good one. Biggest of the day by far, probably 25, 26 inches. Really, really solid fish. So put this guy back in the water, but hey, four fish knocked out by 1230. That ain't too bad. Solo pulling, it can be really difficult. I feel like I make the slightest wrong move and these fish are taken off out of here. So let's get this guy back in the water. It's a good one. That's a blind casted redfish. I'll take it. I feel a little bit lucky when that happens. The water is very warm. Very, very warm. He's ready to go. Let's turn him this way. Oh, there he goes. Oh, all right, well, 12.30, we've knocked out four reds, that one biggest of the day. I'm very grateful for that. I think we can knock out one more fish today, I really do. Um, I'll walk you guys through real quick, because I didn't walk you guys through the setup. I'm going to rig back up here, walk you guys through kind of what I'm using today. I know you guys know I'm using a gulp shrimp, but I'll talk about the jig head here in a second. But let me put on another one, and uh, we'll get ready to go. All right, so we are using the uh, Gulf Shrimp in New Penny. New Penny, it's like orange, orangey tan. One of my favorite colors because it just looks natural. Looks natu like a shrimp, I guess I should say. Natural shrimp colors. Got it rigged up on an 8th ounce 2.0 Berkeley. Uh, I think these are just called swim, uh, I guess they're just jig heads. Swim bait jig heads. So 1 8th ounce 2.0 and 25 pound mono leader is the uh, ticket for today. So I'm gonna get back up on that polling platform, keep on going, try to knock out one more fish today. So one thing people always ask when I'm 
pulling or pulling the Ginu is they ask about how stable it is. I'll give you that answer right here. It's it's pretty good, honestly. I have a Yeti 35 back here that sits on the uh, the bench seat, strapped down with the uh, Yeti tie downs, and it's decently stable. Now I'm five foot eight, 170, 175 ish. I gotta believe if you're bigger than me, it's gonna be less stable. If you have another person in the boat, it's gonna be less stable as well because they're making movements um, as well. I'm not the only one. So day like today, it's calm. I'm by myself. It's pretty like pretty stable. Like I can move the boat left to right and I feel pretty good. Um, that being said, if you're bigger than me, it's probably gonna be less stable. That's pretty much my answer. Um, the transom on a 15-4 Ginu High Sider is not too wide, so like a 13 foot or an LT25 or a Ginu Classic, those are the boats that are gonna be more stable for pulling. But this one gets the job done. So hopefully that answers somebody's questions because I know it sounded like a tarp or sounded like a redfish pop. People always bring that up when I when I'm pulling this, this boat in videos. There's a redfish right here. He's been looking for my bait, I swear. Come on. Come on. Yep, there it is. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that fish was looking for it. You guys probably missed the first portion of that, but I sat right out this tree here for about five minutes waiting for this fish because I saw him swim up under the tree. Disappeared. I said, ah, let's get out of here. Turn around. He's coming right out of the tree. <laughs> so I had to make a big maneuver here, get myself reset up, come back up there. He was sitting right there shallow made the long cast and he thumped it oh that was uh feels rewarding a lot of patience a lot of patience today with these fish nice one bright blue tail oh, oh yeah that was pretty loud oh nice fish come here bud Is a nice one. Oh. oh, that feels rewarding. That feels rewarding for this guy. They have been uh, picky. I'll say that again. They have been picky today. So beautiful colors, bright blue on the tail. Bright, bright blue. Let's get this gulp shrimp out, and I'll probably fish 10 more minutes today or 15 more minutes here. See if I can maybe get lucky, grab one more. If not, that'll be it. All right, gulp shrimp's out. This guy back in the water should be ready. Water's really warm today, really warm. Oh my, patience pays off. Patience pays off there too, and it's crazy. It's early, early morning they were eating decent. Midday, like up till like 11 o'clock, I couldn't find a bite, man. Then after midday, oh, I'm getting some bites here. So that is fish number six, I think, five or six. And man, that was awesome. He was just swimming up there, right? Real shallow, kind of on the surface. I really like when they do that. I always feel like I'm gonna get an eat. Sometimes when their heads are buried in the ground, they are very, uh, very picky. But he was just kind of cruising and almost looked like he was waiting for something to come by. Oh, toss the shrimp right up in front of him. And that is fish number six. I'm going to call this the last fish of the day. Fish with the brightest blue tails. The brightest blue tails. Oh. Hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Gulp shrimp out of there. I really hope you guys can see the coloring on this. I know the camera doesn't always give it justice, but bright blue is really the coolest thing. Bright blue tail on a red fish. And there he goes. Well, another beautiful day down. We had just amazing weather today. It's almost two o'clock now. Sky's blue. The wind is just a little breezy, but that's all right. I think they, the fish like that. I think they eat better when it's just a little breezy. They can't hear you coming as well. 
but uh, amazing weather today. So we knocked out some good fish on the uh, Gulf Shrimp. Just had a fun day today. Solid, solid day all around. Had to, uh, felt like I put in some good work. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in like the video, but a lot of casts at fish, a lot of bad casts. Um, just kind of worked hard to catch some fish today. Six down in the hot summer is, is pretty solid, especially on spin. I think if I had maybe a little fly or something, probably could have get some of these finickier reds to bite, but yeah, we did pretty good with that gulp shrimp. They started to eat here really at the end. I would really like to stay out longer, but I actually have to go in and do something kind of important. So thank you guys for watching today. I really appreciate everything. Uh, check out the merch link in the description, jmfishco.com. And uh, I think uh, I think that is it. it is really hot. I'm excited to get back to the car and eat something. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in that next video.